Music posters, what the... Ah, Jesus. A gig poster has turned into something a lot more than just a gig poster. Gig posters are one of the purest pieces of, of modern folk art we have. We all have this vision that we agree upon promoting the music first and foremost, whether you do that with demons or birds or assholes and lightning bolts, you still know that you're all fighting the same fight. As the recorded music business collapses, it's sort of taken on a whole nother thing. Is this poster going to get people into the show? Imagery where somebody is going to stop and go, wait, what the hell is that? There used to be five guys in the country that did this. Yeah, I don't even know how many people are doing this now. 25 years from now, their originals are going to be hanging in modern art museums. People view art as being this thousand dollar, and then all of a sudden they find a poster for twenty, thirty dollars that is beautiful and vibrant. I've always been more a tactile. I like to touch things, and it freaks people out. I'm like, go ahead, touch it. Feel the difference between silkscreen and a glossy offset print. One of the biggest developments in the past couple of years is the change from concert posters over into movie posters. I'm gonna go talk to Warner Brothers, and I'm gonna get all these licenses, like Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars, look. What we're trying to do is bring back hand-drawn art for posters. We always try to get a couple copies when someone does a poster. We actually are in direct competition with each other. We're also very playful about it. We realize we're sort of like perpetuating a teenage fantasy. He's probably embarrassed to hear it, but he's the very reason I started doing posters. A gig poster is a fancy piece of paper that someone says is a gig poster. I bought a poster yesterday of a raccoon eating Funyuns. 